counted down at the start by Richard Hughes, being led towards the stalls. All good with Arantes, Richard Hughes back in the saddle. First one just gone behind, the rest are shortly to follow. Till Star and Salient heading behind the stalls. Salient first one in, Till Star will be the second. Man of mine has gone in, so to uphold, Arantes will be next. Five in, five out. Beep and Prairie Town go in. Last one to go in, no win, no fee. Set to go. And they're off for racing. This is the Condiment Company Sussex Valley Stakes, a handicap over a mile and three furlongs. Salient bowls on into an early lead to Beep in second. No win, no fee. And Man of Mine, last year's winner, is coming to head them all off around the outside under Seb Sanders. The orange and brown jacket to Salient. No win, no fee. And uh, Beep. Prairie Town is also out wide ahead of Arantes and Richard Hughes, the yellow colours. Adam Kirby on the inside on Eaton Rambler with the uphold next in the field towards the back. Tillstar is in last place and in company with Silver Dixie, the white cap, nose banded Charles Bishop as Man of Mine racing fairly freely, going downhill with a lead of two and a half lengths to the old boy Salient and Kieran Fox in second. Prairie Town got a slap with a whip there from Jim Crowley in midfield just to make up a little bit of ground. No win, no fee. Tom Queeley starting out for Dr. Newland. No win, no fee is tracking Man of Mine with Beep the Blue Sleeves to the inner. The white headgear to the outside is Uphold and John Egan. Prairie Town, a white face on that one's inner with Eaton Rambler, a purple cap under Adam Kirby for George Baker. Orantes has got two behind, those two being Silver Dixie and uh, Till Star. Trying to give Roger Teal a Goodwood winner as the field are about to start uh, making their turn for home and approach their final five furlongs with Salient now heading Man of Mine. A beep on the inside. They're tracked by Eaton Rambler and no win, no fee. Uphold has just lost a couple of positions. Prairie Town chased along. Arantes no move yet. Tillstar is also getting a squeeze from Sylvester D'Souza. Silver Dixie just ahead of that one at the back as the field are now turning into the home straight, approaching their final three furlongs. Salient has the lead to Manamine on the shoulder. Beep is in behind. Eaton Rambler looking dangerous from no win, no fee. Uphold driven to the outside. Arantes yellow colours making a little bit of ground. It's Salient. Beep, Man of Mine coming back again. Eaton Rambler switched out to the outside, followed by Arantes. No win, no fee. Down the outside as the field now come inside. Their final two furlongs. Salient. Eaton Rambler on the right coming there. Beep in the center. Man of Mine just folding out of it now. And Eaton Rambler comes sweeping through to join Beep. Salient boxing on the inside. Tillstar from the back, but it's Eaton Rambler under Adam Kirby with Beep next to the rail. Kirby now gets serious with Eaton Rambler. Leads by about a half length 
to beep on the inside. They're on from Tilstar and Prairie Town. Eaton Rambler doing more than enough to win. Eaton Rambler beats beep. Tight for third. Prairie Town running on with Tilstar and the old man salient creditable in fifth place. First number four, Eaton Rambler. Second number 11 and a photo finish for third place. First number four, second number 11, photo finish for third place. Here is the result of the photo finish for third place, third number three, and the fourth place horse number nine. And the full results of the Condiment Co. Sussex Valley Handicap Stakes. First, number four, Eaton Rambler. Second, number 11, Beep. Third, number three, Prairie Town. And fourth, number nine, Tilstar. The distances were one length and one and a half lengths. One length and one and a half lengths. The official time of the winning horse, two minutes, 26.58 seconds. Two minutes, 26.58 seconds.